Now we switch from the King of Peckham to the King of all London when it comes to promoting, well, young promoting. That's my friend, old friend, Spencer Fearon. And I got hold of Spencer a little bit earlier on. The first thing I asked him is what's happening to his new British light welterweight champion, Mr. Darren Hamilton. Big Daddy Steve Bunch, my brother from another mother. Darren <laughs> Hamilton is defending his title on the same day when uh, Audley Harrison challenges is David Price. Ah. For the, for the, yeah, so it's up in it's up in Liverpool at the Echo Arena. We've been there already because we beat John Watson down there. So massive, massive big up to Frank Maloney for Winning putting on, put, yeah, put on the show. And people thought that Frank Maloney was going to be quiet, and he's not quiet. He's back with a bang, and he's at Box Nation, and it's going to be an honour for us to have our... For, for me to have my first pro fighter have made their debut on Box Nation, that's going to be great. Well, good, and we'll make sure that we get the two of you in uh, closer to the date. Now, listen, S Spencer, Spencer, Mr. Fear, and a lot of people are asking me, and they tweet me, and they send me emails, and it's quite simple. You know where this question is going is, Bunsy, where is the Mongolian warrior? So I'll turn that on its head and say, Spencer, where is Choi, the Mongolian warrior? Where is our <laughs> hero? Yeah, listen, Choi... Choi, after winning the WBC International Silver title, went back home to spend some time with his family. Mm -hmm. uh, myself and Karen have been in major negotiations, and Choi is fighting for, for something big middle of November. We're not obliged to say where it is, okay. but, you know, Hard Knocks will be promoting abroad. I can't wait. We're going out to Asia to do something, and it's something big for Choi. So, <laughs> you know, um, ho whoever uh, uh, takes it up, but it's going to be something big, and I'm really, really, I'm, you know what, I'm, since if you think about the story of Troy, yeah, it's unreal. It's, it's a it's a surreal um, story, and and Troy's going to be back, and he's going to be fighting for a big title. So I'm I'm happy. Have you been out to his homeland, Mongolia, Spencer? No, I haven't just... been. Karen's been. I'm, Karen's you know, been out. But right, I've right. always been asked, and um, we had a couple of the guys who boxed fantastically well in the Olympics that we just had. You Which did. was superb. Come on, man. Your anti Meg was a great fighter. Oh, man. Yeah, I like him a lot. He's, you know, he's, he's made to be a pro, brother, if you don't yeah, mind me saying yeah, so. I'm, I'm telling you. So, um, I've, Troy's been begging me to come out there, and I'm just going to oblige him because I'm going to be out there next month to help him with his training. Yep. And then we got some business to take care of in November, and it's going to be great. All right, well, before then. Now, I also hear Spence. Uh, and, and I can't quite get my head around what's going on here because I'm hearing all sorts of things. I hear you've been doing, going around the country doing motivational speaking, but properly organised, and uh, you've been spotted. Fill me in. D d d cut, cut through what I've heard. Tell me the facts. You see, but, you see Steve Bunce is a guy who keeps his ear to the ground. He knows everything, man. You know what I mean? And you wonder why you've you've lost that perm. I remember when you said that perm. <laughs> so do I remember it. <laughs> I want to get a nice wig. No one will know. No, you don't need that, Steve. Yeah, You're good looking as it is, man. Trust me. Oh, no, Just happy. get rid of them yellow suits. Now, what's <laughs> happened is with 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 um, the motivational speaking, I was approached by a few guys a few years ago to go up to Great Harwood, and I was speaking to a couple of kids. So it started off first at 50, then it was 100, then it was 200 kids. So it was year after year after year. It, just, it kept on growing. Yeah. At the same time, when my hard nose company was growing, and we would pay for them to come down to watch our shows. To the show. Yeah, just, I remember them. Just, yeah, exactly. And it just grew and grew and grew. Um, and then there was a, a thing which is up now for inner city children of South London, which is being put together. Yeah. And when that was put together, it was called Option for Change. And they asked me to come along and speak in front of the High Commission of Jamaica. And now, I, it was just kids that were, who fell out of school, yeah. who, who had been a little bit rough and stuff, and kind of like the, the society has turned their back on them. And they put a project together to help these kids out. Okay. They asked me to come out because I'm not boasting from where I've come from. I'm, I'm quite proud to say I came from a council state in Kenneton to do what I'm doing right now. Sure. And, you know I mean? and, and to live the way that I'm living right now, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know I, mean? I feel very blessed and very privileged. Yeah, yeah. So it's a simple thing. No, if I can, you can. So I've, I gave a speak, I gave a talk to the, to the children there at Middlesex University. And as I gave the speak, as I spoke there, the High Commissioner of Jamaica, uh, Her Excellency, asked me, could I come out to speak to um, five universities in Jamaica and four schools? So, and that's what we're doing. We're going to be doing that next year, July. So I'm, I'm pretty much blessed to do that. And Steve Bunce was the first person ever. Oh. When I was a little novice pro, when I only had two fights, and Steve Bunce said, Spencer Throne is one of the, the greatest top five speakers of all time. <laughs> that was Steve Bunce wrote that in the Frank Warren program. Uh -huh. And now, look, now people, now people, my mom always told me to shut up, and now she's seen that I'm getting paid to talk up and down the country. Right, she's she's keep on doing it. 
She's happy now. Spence, that's a that's a bit of an honour, mate. All joke, all joking aside, if you're going out there and speaking to, what was it nine 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 in total, five universities and four or four schools, or the other way round? But that's that's a that's a serious honour. I'm, I'm 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 proud of you, son. I'm I'm proud of you. Listen, listen that, that that means a lot because you know everybody knows me. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to um, speak with no great um, grandeur or anything else like that. I speak from the heart, man. And if I if I tell you stories, it's like simple stories of it's like I remember when I was a kid, John. Well, I remember if I could speak to John Barnes when I was a little kid, yeah. when John Barnes was playing for England, and not playing at his best. I really, really do believe that I could have got through to him. I haven't <laughs> got the chance to speak to John Barnes, but I have got Darren Hamilton. I have got Nathan Graham. Yeah. I have got Larry Ekendaya, who's most probably one of the best talents, single talents in this country. I swear down. Look out for this kid, Larry Ekendaya, the welterweight, who is superb. Spencer, listen, uh, you, you shocked me a little bit with that, and I'm, I'm delighted for you. And you know when I say I'm delighted, you know what I mean. Spencer, it is, as always, a pleasure. We look forward to hearing where that joy fight's going to be. We look forward to updates leading into next year's tour of Jamaica. And we look forward to Darren Hamilton on that October 13th bill. And look out for Otto Saab. Remember that? Oh, yeah, little Saab. When's he out? The little kid. Uh, yeah, Otto Saab is the best single talent. Tundi has been working meticulously hard with him in uh, uh, for, for years, for 10 yeah, years. And the kid's going to be out on a, on a hard knock show um, end of November. Watch out for him. This kid's special. It's called a special boy for a reason, and he's absolutely special. We'll have a little bit of him in the Box Nation studio and also on BBC London. Spencer Fear on to end the show. Thank you very much indeed.